Hello and welcome to another video in my Fundamentals of Orchestration series. Today I'll be taking a look at the trumpet family of orchestral instruments, specifically in terms of construction, historical usage, timbre, technique, and idiomatic writing. And I've composed a few short examples using sample libraries from orchestral tools to help demonstrate the instruments. Let's get started. In many ways, the development of the trumpet, both in terms of construction and in usage within the orchestra, is very similar to the development of the horn. Like the Baroque horn, the Baroque trumpet was a natural instrument, meaning it had no valves, and only the notes of the overtone series were available. Unlike the Baroque horn, composers like Bach regularly wrote virtuosic trumpet music in the upper clarino range that rivaled solo violin music in terms of difficulty. By the classical period, however, the use of the trumpet in the orchestra evolved to be less virtuosic, and it was rare for composers to write notes above the twelfth partial. As was the case with the horn, natural trumpet players had to adjust intonation using their embouchure, but adjusting the hand position inside the bell was not possible on trumpet. As I've mentioned in previous videos, crooks were added to the natural trumpet in C to change the fundamental pitch, and thus change the available notes. As valved instruments were first adopted into the orchestra during the 19th century, the three-valved trumpet in F became an early favorite among composers. However, into the 20th century, the smaller C and B-flat trumpets became more heavily favored, with the C trumpets used primarily in modern orchestras and the B-flat trumpet favored in wind and jazz ensembles. Both the modern C and B-flat trumpets have three piston valves and have cylindrical bores. Several other members of the trumpet family were first used in the 19th century, including the cornet, a valved, mostly conical trumpet used primarily in military and wind ensemble music, the flugelhorn, a conical trumpet also used more frequently in jazz and wind ensemble music, and the bass trumpet, which is closer in timbre to the trombone. The bass trumpet was used throughout the 19th century, but is less common in orchestral music today. Lastly, the much smaller, seldom-used piccolo trumpet is the highest pitch member of the trumpet family, and generally used by modern players to play the high clarino virtuosic trumpet parts from the Baroque period. The range of the modern trumpet in C is from F-sharp 3 to C6, although the upper range can be extended upwards by advanced players. The B-flat trumpet has the same written range, but sounds a major second lower. Because of its slightly larger size, the B-flat trumpet is temporally just a bit warmer than the C trumpet, which is perhaps the main reason it has become a fixture in jazz and wind ensemble music. Because of its cylindrical bore, the trumpet is known for its piercing timbre and its ability to cut through the orchestral texture. Throughout history, orchestral horn and trumpet music has looked very different, because the conical, more mellow-sounding horn has an ability to blend into the background alongside winds and strings, whereas the cylindrical, more piercing trumpet sticks out in most textures. Both the C and B-flat trumpets have three distinct timbral registers, with the lowest register from written F-sharp 3 to C4 sounding dark and less focused. Notes below the A are less common and are harder to produce with complete control. Notes within the treble clef staff are more clear and have a brighter timbre. This is where the bulk of orchestral writing lies, as the player won't tire as easily in this range, and the instrument is capable of a wide dynamic range here. As you get higher in pitch, the timbre becomes even brighter, and notes above the treble clef staff are piercing and brilliant in timbre. It's especially difficult to start notes above the D in the middle of the treble clef staff quietly, and any notes above the treble clef staff are very difficult to play quietly at all. The C and B-flat trumpets are capable of the majority of standard playing techniques in addition to double and triple tonguing. Extended techniques on the trumpet are less common, though stylistic techniques from jazz and Latin genres are sometimes used in orchestral writing, including glissandi, rips, shakes, and bends. 
Muting the trumpet is a standard technique, and the most common mute is the straight mute, which sounds like this. Just remember to give the player enough time to add or remove the mute from the bell of the trumpet. Usually a few measures is sufficient. There are many types of trumpet mutes, and while most of them are standard jazz and Latin accessories, only a few of them are readily used in the orchestra. Other than the straight mute, the harmon and cup mutes are usually safe to ask for, and chances are most professional orchestral trumpet players will have bucket, plunger, and solo tone mutes available as well. I'd love to demonstrate either the cornet or the flugelhorn using sample libraries, but unfortunately, Orchestral Tools has yet to release a solo version of either one. They do, however, have an ensemble patch of three flugelhorns, which will give you a sense of the warmer timbre of the conical instrument. Other than timbre, both the cornet and flugelhorn are very similar to the standard trumpet, and most professional trumpet players would have no problem switching back and forth between them. On the other hand, the bass trumpet, while technically a member of the trumpet family, is often performed by trombone players due to the similarities in mouthpiece, timbre, and technique required. The bass trumpet in B-flat sounds a major ninth lower than written, and is essentially a valved trombone in terms of timbre and capability. While called upon often in the late 19th century, the bass trumpet is rarely used in the modern orchestra today. The final member of the trumpet family that I'll discuss is the piccolo trumpet, commonly tuned in B-flat, sounding a minor seventh above written pitch. As I stated earlier, it is often used by modern players to play the virtuosic Baroque clarino music, as the agility required of the upper register is more easily attained on this instrument than on the C trumpet. The piccolo trumpet has a bright and somewhat metallic timbre and is capable of the same standard and extended playing techniques as the trumpet in C. Unfortunately, this is yet another instrument that is rarely found in the modern orchestra. So that's all that I want to cover in this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. In my next video, I'll take a closer look at the low brass section, including trombones and tubas. After that, I'll look at monophonic and homophonic material for the brass section of the orchestra. See you next time.